Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another North American Grid Iron Association presentation. This week, we have Iowa at Columbus, and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm most definitely going with Columbus as they were deep into the playoffs last season. Let's get into this matchup. We're going to hop on down to the field, get these players situated. Referees doing the coin toss. Let's see who wins here. Lands on tails. No, heads. Lands on heads. Iowa gets the call. They will receive. And we will see Graham Hull take the field first. Montgomery gets his ball up in the air. Very returnable here. Fowler. The wide receiver one is on the return. Can't make a bad miss. He gets brought down 26-yard line. And now we get to see this exciting offense take the field. We have Daquan Fowler at wide receiver one. Graham Hull at QB. Reading the defense. Sending his tight end into motion. Hull drops back. Look at downfield, lets it go, and the tight end cannot come up with the pass there, second and 10. And you have to wonder what happened. I mean, he threw the ball perfectly, only his man could get it, and the tight end just drops it. Was a moment too big for him already? First play of the game, but here we are, second 10. Hole, scanning that defensive line. Hands the ball out to Rodgers. Rodgers gets brought down for a one-yard pickup. It is now third and nine. And you have to wonder, what is the plan for this defense? Like I said, Columbus is a monster. Going deep into the playoffs, I think it was one game short from the championship game. It's Rodgers up the middle. Brought down, nine-yard pickup. That's going to be a first and ten. They don't go through and out there. But like I was saying, deep into the playoffs, you got to wonder, what's going to be the strategy here? What is Iowa going to rely on is the storm going to be able to wash the senators out or will the senators govern this game let's find out tight end in motion the, oh mr Wright with a 28 yard reception big throw from ground there yes that last reference was corny but you're gonna love the commentary anyway <laughs> I know somebody somewhere is saying, what did, what? did he really just say that? Yes, I did. First and 10. Briggs, back up running back. Oh, he breaks a man. Get in the weight room. And that is a 12-yard pickup. And ladies and gentlemen, I just woke up. That's what I love to see right there. Exciting electric runs, baby. Make a man miss. Briggs is still in. Send the tight end into motion again. Huh, Briggs. Brought down immediately. Six yard gain is second and four. And one drop pass, and they have not gone back to the passing game. Well, let me rephrase that. Excuse me. One drop pass completion. They're running one of their passes, is what I'm trying to say, though. As you can see, four rushes for 28 yards. Rodgers gets the ball, gets it outside. Make a man miss. Picks up four, but he will be spotted third and in inches, not first and ten. They are in the red zone, and they are looking to score, get on the board first, and that will be big for this team. As I said, this is a playoff team they're playing right here. So, they'll be big if they can get a touchdown right here. Rodgers, good block by the fullback, putting that defensive linebacker on his back. Rodgers able to pick up the first down. Ball spotted at the six, and he broke a man himself before going down there. So, this, this running game is exciting. This fullback is doing his job. This running back is doing his job. This line is doing his job. All Hull has to do is hand his ball off, and it's easy pickups. Oh, scrambles. He's going to. He crosses the line for the touchdown. The linebacker brings him down. And the defensive back is called for holding. So this touchdown will count. The quarterback getting a late hit there. No call for that late hit. But it's okay as Hull gets up dancing. Hitting his little shuffle. With this PAT. That should be seven. I was on the board first. Almost missed there. I was on the board first. It is now 7-2-0, and it's time for the Senators' offense to come out here featuring their stud of a quarterback, Jalen Washington. I'm excited to see him play. I was hoping they got the ball first so they, you know, uh, 
can show off that QB, but they don't. Ellis on the return gets brought down. And remember, at the 27-yard line, and remember, I do not have a dog in this fight. Okay, I'm not going to be biased. Let's do this. Jalen Washington at the line. I'm not biased at all, I promise. <laughs> Jalen Washington reading that defense. Look, a blitz is about to come here. And it does. He gets the ball off in time and is almost intercepted by that defensive back. Great coverage. I love that. I love to see that. Great coverage. It is good as a defensive coordinator where you can rely on your defensive backs to cover, guys, especially when your linebackers are too slow to actually apply pressure. Washington had all day to throw and still almost throw an INT there. Second and 10 as he's reading his defense. Sending his running back into motion, dropping back, looking downfield. Throws it to the outside, one-on-one. -on -one. Running back cannot come up with it. It was a running back versus the safety, and the safety wins on that play. Man, I know Washington wish he had that ball back as he had a man open. If he had just held it for another second, would have been easy. 0 for 2 on the day, third and 10. Sends his running back into motion again to the right side. Scanning that defense. Drops back. Looking downfield. Over the middle, he finds Michaels. And Michaels gets brought down for 11-yard reception. First and 10. Columbus. Iowa's defense, even though they gave up that first down, they have been doing a very good job. To day. I, I expect him to go back to that man coverage because they were shutting stuff down. Chambers gets the handoff. Can't break a tackle, but he picks up two on the play trying to fall forward, but he was game tackled there. So second and eight. Ball at the 40. Let's see what Columbus comes up with. Man was down on the field. We're going to see you later if he comes back in the game. Sending his tight end into motion. Drops back. Looking downfield. And it's almost intercepted again. Washington wants to give Iowa a gift, but the defensive backs are not taking advantage of bad decision-making by this QB. That is two passes that should have been caught for interception. Washington draws back, looks downfield, lets it go, and Chambers is able to moss that linebacker for a 12-yard pickup. On top of that, that linebacker is a call for holding, and it will be first and 10, and his drive is still alive, ladies and gentlemen first quarter action and it is going on man it's exciting 23 yards for washington on a day two for five we are sitting at 40 percent chambers gets the handoff he can't get to the outside because his fullback but he still picks up eight after breaking a tackle second and one he got eight but it's second and one ladies and gentlemen either i'm not aware or the refs are not here we are Second and one. Hands the ball out to Gaddis. Gaddis is brought down immediately. Three-yard pickup. That will be enough for the first down. And this chain gang is moving. Ladies and gentlemen. First and ten. Washington at the line. Sending the man into motion. Trying to figure out if his man or zone. Doesn't matter. He's handing the ball to Chambers. And Chambers breaks the tackle but can't get further than that. No gain on the play. Second and 10 as Phipps gets the credit for the tackle there on that play. Iowa's defense, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing the best they can against this offense. And this offense is doing the best they can against this defense. As Gaddis gets the pitch to the outside for a 9-yard gain. Third and two. I might have to stop. <laughs> I might have to stop reading. <laughs> I know it's not me that time. I, I saw that. Okay, anyway, here we go. Send the man in motion. Washington reading the defense. Dropping back. Releases it quick and got on the reception for 11 yard pickup. So these running backs are good in route running and catching. They both can catch the ball. They both can make that catch even under pressure. We saw Chambers, Moss one, and then we see Gaddis right there make the catch knowing he's going to get hit by that linebacker over the middle. First and 10, Washington looking, throws it. Chambers catches it, and he breaks it, but he ends up getting out of bounds for a five-yard pickup there. Second and five. Washington coming up to this line, confident. Gaddis. Hands the ball for to Thompson for the end of round, and it's a one-yard loss. Thompson is not able to get around that edge, and Sanders is credited for the tackle for loss. Number nine, Shamir, Shamar Sanders. Excuse me. Third and sixth. Send him in into motion. It's crazy to see that college number on that defensive lineman right there. 
as Washington thinks he has a man open and he does Michaels Moss is a defensive back for the touchdown ladies and gentlemen and that's how you govern a drive yes I did six points is on the board and after this P PAT it will be seven Demonte Michaels ladies and gentlemen from Washington Great connection there. You know what? It's crazy how all of this connects. You know what I mean? If you think about it. Okay? If you think about it. Montgomery gets his ball up. Fowler on a return. Ooh, can't make a man miss. He's brought down at about the 20-yard line, ladies and gentlemen. And this position will start. Iowa's offense coming out. Kind of, kind, of, kind of confident that it was easy for them to get downfield as I'm stuttering. Briggs gets the ball to the outside for a seven yard gain. It was a lot of stuff going on there, ladies and gentlemen. That's why that stutter happened. It's going to happen from time to time when I'm caught, off, caught by surprise like that. Second and three. Hole sending a man into motion. That's Fowler on the move. Scanning that defense. Hands the ball out to Briggs. And Briggs makes a man miss. Get off me. Four-yard pickup. I mean, he shed that defender like he's allergic. Did you see that? Like, don't touch me, sir. First and ten for Iowa. This game is exciting. End of the first quarter. Set, tied at seven. Both offenses firing. Both defenses need to be fired. Here we are. N A G A presentation. I am PTG if I did not introduce myself. And Rodgers is getting the handoff to the outside and gets brought down brutally for a yard pickup, but outsized by Connor. So, of course, they accept that penalty first and five. Iowa's offense coming up to the line. Can Columbus defense get a stop here? Let's see. Oh. Throws it away. Technically, they get a stop. Everybody was covered. He had nowhere to go. He felt pressure, so he threw it away. No longer wanting that ball. Here we are, second and five. Can Columbus finally make a stand on this drive? Let's see. Sending a tight end into motion. Play action pass, and he throws it away. He does not want to get smacked in his mouth. He is throwing it away every time he sits his pressure. He's not the QB to try to make a play. Hole knows his limits. He refuses to go down. Third and five. Sending his fullback to the left side. Dropping back. Trying to find a running back on the outside. He does. Rodgers gets the catch and finally gets brought down after 25. First and 10. Ball at the 39. They have crossed over into Columbus's territory and you were one you thought that the defense there was finally going to make a stand but they do not they give up a big play there fowler's in motion oh flag on the play and daquan fowler gets a false start false start ladies and gentlemen excited to get anxious to get that play going jumps ref throws that laundry loses five yards on the play and that is frustrating for a coach offensive coordinator and the fans that is in the crowd supporting them today Hole sending his running back to the slot. Reading that defense. Drops back. Trying to find a man. Thinks he has one. And he does. Blackstone with a 14-yard reception. Second and one. Smart decision there as he was open. Because a lot of other people were being set up for a INT. Good read by Hole. Second and one. Coming to the line. Sending Fowler into motion. Drops back, looking downfield. Thinks he has a man, and he does. It's going to be Boros getting brought down for the 16-yard reception on the play. I don't know why that defensive back was celebrating. That was not a big hit, but it was a big game. Good first down throw. Hole to Boros. That tight end is looking to put in work today, ladies and gentlemen. Hole is dropping back, looking down the field. He's going to hit the same tight end for the... Oh, no! He drops the open pass in the end zone. Are you kidding me? That offensive coordinator throw his playbook into the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. The anger. The anger. The head coach must feel. Rodgers gets brought down for a loss, and this is quicksand. They have to make something happen here on his third and 12. Ransom 
on the stop there for the tackle for loss. Third and 12. They need to make something happen. The head coach does not want a field goal here. They do not want three. They want six. Hole drops back. He lets it go. And it is not completed. And they go three and out in the red zone. Columbus defense finally gets a stop. Who would have thought, ladies and gentlemen, this offense was hot and out of nowhere they are. Cold as ice. The kick is up. It's good. 32-yard field goal, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to head for this kickoff. It's time to see what Columbus' offense does. Finally, the defense gets a stop. Ellis is on the return here. He runs into three white jersey and makes none of them miss. Ball spotted at the 20, and that has been the story of the return game today so far. Spotted at the 20, spotted at the 20, spotted at the 20. Washington comes up to the line and sends Chambers into motion. Drops back, looking downfield. Look at Hazmet over the middle. Michaels makes the catch. Great block. He's up the sideline. The 15. Oh, no, he gets brought down. 65-yard pickup with a flag. And, of course, Iowa's going to decline it. First and 10 from the 15-yard line. Big throw by Washington. That is the type of place he's capable of making. Good catch by Michaels. 88 yards on the day and a touchdown. That man has been more than reliable. Sending a man into motion. Washington is reading his defense. He's looking. He's trying to find a man going towards the back of the end. It's Michaels again. We're in second. Touchdown. Touchdown, Columbus. That is another six points for Washington and Michaels. They are the offense today. Oh, my goodness. Are you not entertained? Columbus taking the lead there. It is now 14 Two ten. Iowa has to come out firing, and they have to finish. Otherwise, Columbus could run away with this game in this quarter. After a hot start by both offenses, it is only Columbus' offense that is still standing. Montgomery kicks his ball off. Fowler is there for the return. Good block there, and he gets brought down brutally. The sledgehammer from his right side. He did not see it coming he's probably seeing stars hopefully not they do need to do concussion protocol but they are, are not going to here we are first and 10 ho since his tight end into motion drops back looking downfield he knows he needs to make a big throw here he tries for one and it is completed rogers breaks a tackle get in the weight room as he falls forward 35 yard Pick up, he's clapping, he's taunting, he dares his defense to stop him because he knows they can't guard him. Graham Hole at the line, reading the defense, looking to make another big, no, he pitches it to Brass. Brass gets to the outside, he's up the field, the 10, the 5, 33-yard gain for him getting to the outside first and goal. Ball spotted at the 5. Iowa's offense looking to score. They know they need to. They know they have to. This is their attempt. Sending the tight end in motion to the right side. Outside. Hole. Pitches the ball out to Briggs. And Briggs is going to get in there. He gets smacked, but he gets the touchdown. Too little too late effort there by the defensive back. That would be a touchdown for Iowa. And that offense comes out and shuts me up. Because I said they cooled down. And they showed me they're still hot. 17-14 with this PAT. And Iowa is now in the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, we have lead. Exchange, lead exchange, lead exchange. Are we playing basketball here? Or are we watching two powerful offenses go to work on these defenses that need a lot of help? Ellis is on the return for this kickoff and again runs into three jerseys and the ball is spotted where? None other than the oh the 21 yard line. Same difference. Let's get it. Jalen Washington comes up to the line looking at this defense trying to make a good read here throws it to the flats and it is swatted down that defensive back is there for that pass deflection second and 10 washington does not feel any pressure at all he thinks he has the the room and time to just throw it to the flats he's not even looking downfield on that play let's see what he does here send a minute to motion looking scanning the field 
Throws it to the man, runs to the flats again, but Sanders picks up five on the play. It looked like he was going to make a man miss, but he cannot. That linebacker smacked him in his numbers on that play. Man, you got to wonder if he's going to want to catch the ball again after that. Third and five. Reading the defense, sending the man into motion, looking to see if his zone or man can't figure it out. Hands the ball off to Chambers. Chambers makes a man miss, get in the weight room, and then picks up 11 yards on the play first and 10. You have to wonder, what was he benching? What's his bench? Because how, as a defensive lineman, can you not fall and distribute your weight onto this running back here? First and 10, sending the man into motion. Washington. Looking downfield, no pressure, and he throws Ellis. Ellis Moss is the defensive back. What should have been a high he ends up being a Moss. He trusts his receivers so much on that play. First and 10, he is confidently throwing these comeback routes. He's confidently walking up to this line. Pitches the ball off his chambers, and chambers breaks two tackles. And, but he struggles and struggles and fights. Picks up 10 yards. That tackle, tack, second tackle almost broken. Almost broke. He breaks one. Second and inches, which should be first and ten. But I'm not the referee. Second and inches. Jalen Washington scanning this Iowa defense. He wants to make a big play, or will he hand it off to Gaddis? Gaddis is actually going to get the handoff, and Gaddis gets brought down by a man coming off the block. Five-yard gain there. First and ten, and Iowa needs to make a stop. Otherwise, Columbus is just going to take the lead again. Jalen walking up to the line, and this offense is confident as ever. Looking downfield, throws it to the man coming over the middle, and Thompson, five-yard pickup on the play, and there is the two-minute warning mark as the teams reset, call their plays, and then come up to this line. Washington is confident. When you have a quarterback this confident, you just you, you just you just hope for a mistake as he gives the ball to Gaddis and Gaddis picks up two. That makes it third and three. Will they stall out and go for the field goal, or will they convert and into this red zone? Let's find out right here, ladies and gentlemen. Third and three coming out, looking like a passive play here. Four wide, one in the backfield. Drops back, looking down, gets the man on the one one on one, and it's Michaels. Michaels wins his one on one. Why is he one on one on outside? Have y'all not learned anything today? Michaels for his third touchdown. Washington to Michaels is the story of this half, ladies and gentlemen. That is three touchdowns apiece. Montgomery gets the PAT. He's perfect today, and that is twenty one to seventy. Columbus in charge here before the half. Can Iowa get down this field before the half is over? I will say they have the ability to, but will they is the question. Let's find out. On this return, it's Fowler again. He gets past the 20 and gets brought down. Here we are, first and 10. Iowa's offense coming up to the line. Ball spotted at the 29-yard line. Oh, let's it go to the outside, and it is right, right for the 21-yard reception on the outside. So Hole wants to show that his receivers can win them one-on-one -on -one battles on the outside too, because Michael has been skirting on Iowa's defense. Here we go, Hole at the line, drops back for the pass over the middle, and it is knocked out of the tight hands, hands right there. That linebacker making an athletic play there for no reason. I mean, Swatting turn around, he could have just turned around, got a. INT, but instead he's just gonna turn around and squat. It's crazy as ever. Ho oh, sends the man into motion. That's Fowler going to the right side of the field, reading the defense. Drops back for a pass. Throws the ball to the Fowler, and Fowler gets the nine yard reception. What a route there! Did you see that? You couldn't ask a man to run that out route any more perfect than that. The defensive back was up the field looking for Fowler. No one is out there, young man. Come back down. Third and one here. Sending tight end into motion. Hands the ball to Rodgers, and Rodgers gets the outside, and that would be a first down, and this offense is moving and grooving. Iowa calls a timeout. 57 seconds left on the clock. You know they want a touchdown. They don't want to settle for three. Let's see what Hole and company does here. Iowa is in charge. Hole drops back, looking. Throws it, one on one, and Fowler makes the catch and almost falls into the end zone. 34-yard reception, and it'll be first and goal on the inch line. And 
I'm okay. Second quarter, 42 seconds winding down. Iowa right here. If they get this touchdown, they take the lead. Those over the middle. And what should have been INT is a com incompletion. And you know Columbus defensive quarter co coordinator is angry. He wanted that INT and could not get it there. And boy, I need some water. Iowa's offense is ready. Fowler in motion. Hole. Looking around. Drops back. He's trying to sp over the middle again in Fox. Gets the touchdown. The fullback with the touchdown on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, use your fullbacks. Touchdown, Iowa. Takes the lead there. Sean Fox. Only the one yard. <laughs> Ball is up. It is good. And it is now 24-21 in the second quarter with 34 seconds left. I don't think Columbus is going to come out and get a touchdown right away to take the lead back. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we might go into the half. The second half at 24-21. But let's find out. The ball is up. And, of course, Ellis is going to be on the return here. Not trying to run into white jerseys, but he gets brought down. Ball spotted at the 23-yard line. And I like that he wasn't trying to be selfish there. He just went down with the first contact. He wasn't trying to really make too many guys miss there. He understands his offense can do it if they want to. Washington drops back, looks downfield, lets it go into double coverage, and Ellis comes up with it anyway. 27-yard reception, and Columbus, of course, calls a timeout. Am I about to be proven wrong again? Are they going to tell me to shut up again? Is Columbus offense going to come out here and score again? Let's see. Let's see. Shout out to Ellis for that big reception. Send a man into motion. And that right there is Michaels. Is he about to hit Michaels? He's trying. Oh, Michaels can't come up with the completion there. That is a rare sight to see. I was expecting him to catch that. The fans were expecting him to catch that. Coach, coordinator, Washington, his mama, everybody was expecting him to catch that. Second and 10, Washington is looking downfield, throwing it deep into double coverage, and again, not complete. If you're going to go downfield, spread the receivers out. Sheesh. That's the one time you should have sent the man in some motion and they didn't. Second, third and ten, second quarter, 15 seconds left on the clock. Three wide receivers. And that is going to Thompson. Thompson, 21-yard reception. And Columbus calls a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Am I about to get shut up here? Am I about to get shut it up? Am I about to get shut? No, they don't score a touchdown, but they are going to get a field goal. So, ladies and gentlemen, I get to keep talking. They did not score a touchdown in 30 seconds but they did get a field goal 45 yard field goal is good and this game is tied at 24 with five seconds left in the second quarter all they have to do is do what they've been doing and smack this returner in the mouth and they go into the half tie will fowler make somebody miss and get the touchdown on the return let's find out fowler takes off he tries to make a man missing no runs until the man coming off the block two seconds left on the clock though Iowa's offense, will they try to make something happen or will they just run this clock out and go in? Let's find out as Rodgers is ready. Hole scanning his defense. Sends Rodgers to the outside. Uh-oh, this is a pass. Looking downfield. Let's go to the outside and Fowler gets it but gets brutally taken down there. What a tackle. Something off of WWE WrestleMania. Halftime, 24 to 24. And we're going to jump right back into this game. Going into the second half, Iowa get, takes the lead, and then Columbus just comes out, gets the field goal to tie it. And now we're back at 24-24, which is really just 0-0. Zero, zero. Two quarters left. Let's see what happens as Ellis can't make anybody miss and gets brought down at the 26-yard line. And I'm happy to see that because, man, in the first half, we were seeing spotted at the 20, spotted at the 20, spotted at the 20. I was a broken record on top of my stuttering washington at the line hands the ball off to chambers chambers brought down for a seven yard pickup falls forward it is now second and three and it's looking like columbus wants to change the tempo of this game i guess that was the adjustment from the coach in the locker room because i know that speech to the defense was crucial washington hands the ball off to paul and paul is able to get around the defense to pick up four yards and get a first and 10. Ball will be at the 37-yard line as that man is picking his mouthpiece up off the ground. The defense is laying the boom. they just not doing it behind the line. First and 10. 
Washington is free. The defense gives the ball to Cham Chambers. Breaks two tackles. Get in the weight room. And uh, finally, finally we see a play where Chambers is not able to pick up anything. But in order to contain him, two men had to be broken and thrown around like children. It is now second and ten. Sending a man into motion. Of course, Chambers is tired. That was an excruciating run. Washington gets a QB keeper and picks up 11 yards on the play. And as a defense, you have to hate. We have a mobile QB who can get first downs with their legs. That has got to be annoying because with a spy, you leave Michaels wide open. Here we go. Gaddis with the pitch to the outside. Negative one yard loss on the game. And it has to hurt when you're the running back. Who gets the negative yardage? Here we are for a second and 11. Myers on that tackle for loss. He got up celebrating, but he must not look at the scoreboard. Washington looking downfield under pressure and brought down for a seven yard sack. Sanders smacking him. Finally, they get to the quarterback, third and 18. And now Washington might have something to look out for. Let's see if he stays confident in his pocket. Third and 18, sending the man into motion. I like the matchup on the outside there. Let's see where he goes. Drops back, looking downfield, and he hits. He hits. Ellis, Ellis cannot come up with it. And in that moment, I'm thinking, why not Michaels? He's been the most reliable. He's been the most reliable. Why not go to him? It was one on one. The most. The you could not ask for a better situation there. The punter punts the ball off. It would be Jackson on the return, and Jackson, Jackson. Gets smacked. I had something to say, but I messed his last name up, and that just threw off everything ever. Here we go, baby. First and 10, Iowa's offense looking to take the lead here. That tempo change for Columbus did not work, and uh, Hull is going to send a man into motion. Pitches the ball out to Rodgers. Rodgers gets to the outside, breaks a tackle, picks up four on the Hey, I mean, he broke a tackle, but then he got broke. Number 50 for Columbus' defense comes and maul him. Just mauls him like a bear attacking right there. Second and six. Hole at the line. Reading this defense in the man into motion. It's going to uh, play action pass, and he gets brought down. Columbus' defense. That's leathers for the sack. These defenses have come to life. Both of these speeches for the defenses. Broke some feelings and woke some grown men up. Third and 13. Iowa's offense. Sending the man into motion here. Reading his defense. He drops back. Looking to deliver a strike. And it is an interception to Jordy. And Jordy has a chance for the pick six. But he could not make the last man miss. INT Jordan. Bad pass decision. Oh my goodness. You couldn't ask for a better time. Come on. Columbus offense is at the line, licking their chops. It's time to score. Sending the man into motion. That's Michaels. Washington pitches it to Chambers. Chambers breaks a man, miss, and gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Columbus. Senators, the gosh darn it. Chambers. Do your dance, young man. You might as well the way you breaking them out there. He puts up six. And with this P.O. Oh, flag on the, come on, flag on the P.A.T. is crazy. Dwayne Jones Dwayne Jones needs to get smacked in his mouth for that one. They move back. Now this would be from the 20-yard line. Extra point here. If it's good, it would be 31 to 24. 31 to 24. And it is good. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you not entertained? We came here expecting a good game. And that's exactly what we got. A great game. Montgomery gets his kick up. Fowler's on a return. He's going to bring this ball out to the 26-yard line. 28-yard line. Forward progress. Iowa's offense is now looking to get on the board. I mean, now they have to score. They have to tie this game up. They cannot let Columbus get away. Let's see what Hole can do here. Send the man into motion. I don't expect them to abandon the running game just yet. It's too close of a game, and it's only the third quarter with five minutes left. Looking downfield, he throws the ball into coverage, but Fowler shows that he's that man. He comes up with it. Double coverage, 13-yard reception, first and 10. Fowler, Daquan, doing his Dang, hit the quan, hit the quan. That's what Hull need to do all dry. Hit the quan, hit the quan. In motion, Fowler. 
and it's a flag on the play. Dahl is anxious, and he says this snap count is too slow. Please hurry up. First and 15. Instead of first and 10, Iowa is walking backwards and when they need to go forwards. We're going the wrong way, ladies and gentlemen. We need to see something happen here. Let's go. Oh, scanning his defense. Sending Fowler into motion. Hands the ball out to Rodgers. And Rodgers is able to get through all that blocking. Makes a man miss. Picks up 12 on the play. Did you see the blocking? Did you see him throw that little child on the play right there? Why does Columbus have a kid playing for them? This is a grown man's league. Second and three. Rodgers. What a pickup. Sending the man into motion hole is. Yes, I done turned into Yoda. Ho, oh, looking down. He throws it to the flats. And Burroughs gets a two-yard reception. Instead of a first down, it is third and one. This changes nothing. Either get the ball to Brixler or Rodgers. Or hit the quan. Hit the quan. Hit the quan. Ho, oh, reading the defense. Hands the ball out to Rodgers. Rodgers gets to the outside. Breaks a man and gets brought down for a 12-yard pickup. Rodgers. You going to remember his name today. He pauses, passes chess, and that's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. I love the humbleness, but I would love to see him dance as well. First and 10, play action pass, looking downfield, lets it go before he smacks. He does not want anything to do with that defensive line. Soon as they break loose, he is trying to get rid of that ball. He is not trying to get smacked again. Hole wants to stay healthy for the rest of the year. Second and 10, Hole is reading his defense, drops back for the pass. Letting it go deep. And it is right coming up with the completion. Touchdown. Hole to right on that play. And Iowa's offense gets the job done. They understood the assignment and got the job done. And didn't even have to hit the quad. This PAT is up. It is good. 31 to 31. And the game is tied again. Can one of these defenses please? I mean, Columbus defense did it. But can they do it two times in a row? Can we get some stops? We need to see these defenses step up. We do not want to see a 100-point game here. Ellis on the return. Can he make a man miss? He does not. He gets brought down for initial contact. Ball spotted at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Washington coming up to the line. Will they try to go with that tempo again? Or will they come out firing? Chambers in, is in motion, and that answers, no, it doesn't. Paul gets the ball to the outside, and he's able to pick up nine on the play. Look at that man Cadillac his way almost to a first down as Riggs is injured on the play. He's able to walk off the field, though, which is a good sign from him. Washington, second and one. He's reading this defense, man. Sending the man into motion, and that's Michaels looking downfield. Let's it go off his back foot over the middle. Sanders catches the ball and falls forward. And that linebacker really needs to get in the weight room. That's ridiculous. First and 10. What a pickup. Washington. What a pickup. What a throw. He's wearing that number four. Proud ladies and gentlemen. First and 10. Hands the ball out to Chambers. And, of course, Chambers falling forward for that first down 11-yard pickup. And that man fights four yards. Go to his creation go to his creation on Madden go to his traits select yes for fight for yards because that's what Chambers does 861 yards on a day as he's going to pick up three more second and second second and seven ball at the 35 yard line you know, you see I have to slow down and speed up <laughs> If I keep going fast, that's when all my mistakes start happening. <laughs> gotta, I got to slow my own tempo down. And here we are, end of the third quarter. It is tied at 31. And that's been the story of the game. It's just been tired at the end of all quarters. Washington and company looking to score here. Drops back, looking downfield, scrambles. He takes off with it. Rumble, young man, rumble. And he gets brought down for a 16-yard pickup. First and 10 ball spotted at the 19 with that scramble they enter the red zone now they have to put up points here no mistakes do not give iowa a gift first and ten reading the defense has a man going into the flats and it's michaels of course and he gets seven yards on that play second and third 
Washington to Michaels has been the connection of the game. Don't get it twisted. Second and three. They need to put somebody else on that man. Hands the ball out to Chambers, and Chambers get brought down for the loss. That is rare, and that's by Maddox. Maddox gets the tackle for loss there on Chambers. He says he's not like his other teammates. He's actually a grown man. Keontae, third and five for Columbus. Washington looking for a man. He finds one in the flat, and there it is. Chambers for seven-yard pickup. So Chambers gets brought down for loss, and then makes it right back up with a first down. We have a first and goal. Ball spotted at the seven. Eight minutes left in this quarter. What's going to happen here? As Washington sends Chambers into motion, he's on that left side. And Washington against the QB keeper, and he's going to break a tackle and go into the end zone. He is a grown man. That defensive back is not. But Ellis, Ellis saves his quarterback's life with the holding, and he gets it called for it. So now it's first and seven. It's first and goal. Ball spotted at the 17. Touchdown taken off the board. Man, that has to hurt. But at the same time, it doesn't. He saved that man's life. That would have been a crucial hit right there. Handing the ball out to Chambers. Chambers breaks the tackle. He breaks another one. Great block. But he gets brought down. Falling for a seven-yard gain. Chambers wants that touchdown. This whole offense wants that touchdown. Everybody's trying to make a play. Every single body. Second and goal. Ball spotted at the 10-yard line. Man is in motion. Watching pitches to Gaddis, and Gaddis is brought down for a three yard loss. Excuse me, I did not mean to say everybody. Phipps with the tackle for loss there. Third and goal ball is spotted at the 13. This offense can't fizzle out here. They have to score. Otherwise, I will, will go down there and score because Columbus defense has trouble stopping them. Man, it's in motion here. Looking into the end zone. He's looking into the end zone. He doesn't hit the running back who's wide open. Instead, he almost throws an interception trying to hit. His man, who's the reliable one of the game. Fourth and goal. Washington could not get the touchdown when it mattered the most there. Montgomery gets his ball up. It is good. It is now going to be 34 to 31. And Iowa's offense, who's been on fire all day, gets a chance to come down here and score. And I'm going to predict this right now. I say they get that touchdown, and it's going to be up to Columbus to try to take the lead again. Before the game runs out. Fowler. On the return. Gets brought down. Ball spotted at the 20 yard line. Riggs is came back onto. Well he will be on the field. Next position. He's a defensive back. Hole. At the line. Drops back for a pass. Throws it into the flats. And it's almost intercepted again. He almost throws a second interception. Columbus defense. It has started out tough. They started out tough. I want to know what is the offensive coordinator thinking. Why do you come out throwing the ball? Why not hand this ball off or pitch it? What's going on? Second and 10. Sends the tight end into motion. Hands the ball out to Fox. And Sean gets around the outside but only picks up two as number 50 makes another tackle for the day. Third and eight. And if they go three and out here, I'm scratching my head because I did not predict that I predicted a score on this drive. Well, let's see. They've been converting a lot of third downs today. Sitting tight end into motion. Reading the defense. Hole. Hands the ball to Briggs. And Briggs gets brought down after a seven yard pickup. Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Go for it. It's a fourth quarter. Come on, Iowa. Let's see what they do here. They are going to punt this ball off. I am scratching my head here. Escobar gets the punt. Up in the air. And Whitley is on the return and gets brought down immediately with the ball being spotted at the 25-yard line. Columbus is up in Columbus offense is on the field. So obviously they're gonna try to run this clock down. Washington comes up. Reading the defense. Four spread. Sending a man into motion. Drops back. Looking downfield. Delivers a strike. And Thompson gets the ball two feet in bounds. 10-yard reception, but the referees are going to mark, mark him at the inch. So it's going to be second and inches. Ball at 35. Instead of first and 10. Sending the man into motion. Hands the ball off to Chambers. And Chambers is able to pick up the first down. I mean, that's easy work. He only had to do is take two steps. Got a three-yard gain there. First and 
10. And you have to have a reliable tight end like Thompson to throw it to. I mean, I know they appreciate him. That was an amazing clutch catch right there. First and 10. Ball gets to Chambers, and Chambers breaks a tackle, falls forward. 10-yard pickup for him. First and 10 ball spot at a 47-yard line. I mean, Chambers is automatic. I'm not even going to lie. Chambers is automatic. It's rare if he's ever brought down for a loss. And Gaddis has stepped in because he needs a break. Washington, look at downfield. Oh, he doesn't get it off in time. He gets brought down. And Keontae Maddox with the sack. Smacking Washington in the mouth for a 10-yard loss. At the second and 20 ball spot at the 37. You know they're going to come out passing. Well, you would hope they would come out passing. The tight end is in motion. Drops back, looking downfield. Has a man, on, and he catches Sanders, but no, no block from Ellis. He gets brought down immediately. 33-yard pickup, and that is a big throw from Washington. And Columbus is looking to score a touchdown here. Washington is 18 for 26, 306 yards, three Touchdown. That's a hundred yards. A touchdown. Oh my goodness. What a day for Jalen Washington. Looking down. Find a man into flash chambers. Brought down immediately. I mean, he was smacked in his mouth. Second and one. Columbus offense is rolling. And you gotta worry for Iowa here because they can't get a stop. And they need one bad. <laughs> Snapping the ball before the two-minute warning. Gaddis gets to the outside for a four-yard pickup off the pitch. And Iowa calls a timeout with five seconds before the two-minute warning? We got some stranger things going on here. 31-34, Columbus is in charge. Sending Ellis into motion. Washington does. Reading that defense, hands it to Chambers, and Chambers can't get around his blocker. He's trying. He breaks the tackle, but it gets brought down five-yard pickup, and you would just know if he got around that blocker, that would have been a touchdown. That man who was waiting to get broken in the back was number 22, who's been getting broken all day by both running backs, not just Chambers. Second and five, ball spotted at the nine, and the fullback is in motion. Washington pitches the ball out to Chambers and with one man to beat Chambers breaks a tackle But oh just enough time for the second man to get there six yard pickup on the play And if he would have gotten that block there that would have been a touchdown But the block is not made it's ball spotted at the three and Chambers is gonna get another chance here Maybe Washington at the line and it's Chambers and Chambers gets around the edge gets the touchdown gets hit late scores that touchdown and the offensive lineman tremble is not expected to return. He has a shoulder injury. Ladies and gentlemen, first and, no, excuse me, excuse me, this PAT, but there's a flag. Dwayne Jones has gotten another flag on another PAT in this game. I, 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 don't, I don't understand what his issue is at the line, but he needs to get it together. I know that coach is ready to throw the clipboard through his helmet. First, <clears throat> PAT is up. It's good, and it is 41 to 31. 10 point lead here for Columbus. Two minutes left, and it's just under two minutes left in the game. What is Iowa thinking? What are they planning? What are they doing? It is time to abandon that awesome running game because they don't have time. They need to get 10 points to tie. Fowler's on the return here, and he is brought down almost immediately. A spot at the 23 yard line. First and 10. This is a crucial moment for Iowa here. Ladies and gentlemen, they have to get down this field. They have to score. There's a lot of pressure. I know Hole is sweating. Drops back for the pass. Throws it downfield. It's a triple coverage. It is swatted down. You have to wonder why not a single defensive back tried to intercept it there to end this game. But they, they swatted. I don't understand it. But hey, hey. An incomplete pass is an incomplete pass. Second and 10. Hole. Looky. Downfield, one on one on the outside right gets it and he gets brought down for a 30 yard pickup. It is first and 10. Iowa uses their last time out there, final timeout. Ball spot at the 48 yard line. And at this point, that timeout shouldn't even come into play. Get there, get down, spike that ball as fast as you can. Iowa's offense sending the tight end to motion. Flag on the play. They got Darren Reigns to jump encroachment call on him so now it'll be first and five at the 43 and if they can do that for the rest of this drive they need to they need to 
Hike, 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 hike. All the way up the field they can. Hole. 14 for 25 today. 288. Two touchdowns. And, of course, that interception. Sending the running back into motion. Looking downfield over the middle. He has Briggs, and Briggs is brought down immediately. 10-yard pickup, and it's time to hurry up. This offense needs to get on the line. They need to spike this ball, but I don't think they're going to. Here we are, first and 10. Looking downfield. Hole throws it. Oh, he beats the safety. Fowler beats the corner and the safety there. 24-yard pickup. Ball spotter at the 8. First and goal. Hole is celebrating when he needs to get to this line and get this playoff. One minute left in the game. Hole sending a man into motion like he has all the time in the world. Does he not know that he doesn't? Reading his defense. Drops back. Looking to have Briggs. Briggs catches it, but he only picks up one on the play. 45 seconds. 44 seconds. Ball spot at the seven. Second and goal. 40 seconds left. He needs to spike this ball. Why is he not? He does not have time. Sending a running back into motion. Drops back. Looking into the end zone. And it's intercepted. Jordan again with a second interception of the day. And that would be a touch back. That's what they needed. And Jordan delivered again. 41, 31, 28 seconds left in this game. They are in victory formation. That will be it. That will be it. The sideline is going crazy. The fans are going crazy. They get their first win at home. This is crucial for Columbus to start this season this way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. I am PTG. And I had fun commentating this game. Now let's get into these stats because we have to go over this. This QB battle was crazy. Washington lost in yards, but he did not lose anywhere else. This man is him. 19 for 27, 315, three touchdowns. And most importantly, number four through zero interceptions. Now let's look at number seven. 17 for 29. Two touchdowns, 324 yards passing, but he threw two interceptions. And you know what? With with the interceptions in mind, let's go ahead and give this man his shout out. Let's go ahead and give this man his shout out right quick. Interception, two of them. Sam Jordan, 29 year old, number two in the field, but number one in your hearts, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this defense only had one sack that came from Dre Leathers. And the leading tackle is going to be Rashad Birch behind him, Dre Leathers. And Iowa's defense, man, these defenses did not have a good day. Leading tackle for nine, Braylon Myers. Leading sacks, no ties. Sanders and Maddox, and of course, man, no interceptions. I don't even know why I clicked there. Phipps, two tackles for loss. This defense actually was in the backfield a lot more than you would think, but... The way the results were, you know, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see that. Let's get into these. Let's get into these rushing though. So Darius Rogers had nine attempts for 57 yards, and Briggs seven attempts for 74 yards and one touchdown. You be careful, Rogers. You might be might be looking at becoming RB two. Ricky Chambers 17 for 96, two touchdowns with his longest run being for 11. I don't believe that's true, but. You can't argue with the stat machine. Gaddis, seven attempts for 19. Paul, two attempts for 13. All running backs are in the double digits. And of course, Washington scrambled twice. He got 20. Well, excuse me. He got the QB keeper call one time. Scamp scrambled another. Two attempts, 25 yards. Columbus had a hell of a day on the ground. They had a hell of a day in the air. 135 for Michaels. Washington to Michaels, the story of the game. Chambers got 33 for him off of four. Sanders gets 56 for three. And, of course, the clutch tight end, Thompson, gets 36. The stat line does not tell his story. Ellis is going to get 44 off of two. No drops from either of them. And three touchdown for Michaels. Man, what a day. Fowler. Fowler, no touchdowns, but 104 yards off of five. Wright gets four, 116 yards, and a touchdown to go with it. No drops from wide receiver one and wide receiver two. Rodgers gets two receptions, 60 yards out that backfield. No drops for him, but Burroughs, on the other hand, dropped two, getting two receptions, 18 yards. He was targeted five times. You have to wonder what the story would have been today if he was able to pick it up. But that would be it for me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, 
sh share. This is a North American Gridiron Association PTG, and I am out.